Children's hospitals across the country are calling on President Biden to declare an emergency in response to an unprecedented surge in RSV. According to the CDC, infants six months and younger are getting hospitalized at seven times the rate observed before the pandemic. Fox 10's Stephanie Bennett joins us live with details. Steph. John and Christina, good evening. Yeah, hospitals are dealing with RSV, COVID-19, and also the flu all at once. Here at Phoenix Children's Hospital, they said hospitalizations of RSV hit them earlier than usual. Usually it starts to kick in around December, so about a month earlier, they say. Now they have some advice for parents to stay out of here. We are definitely seeing higher number of cases of RSV illness earlier in the year than we typically would expect. Seasonal flu activity is soaring across the country and healthcare systems continue to feel the strain. Hospital beds are filling up. Nationwide data from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services shows that more than three quarters of pediatric hospital beds are in use. That's up from an average of about two thirds over the past two years. So predominantly we see children coming in with symptoms of cough, <coughs> runny nose, congestion, oftentimes difficulty breathing. When it comes to the flu, Arizona Department of Health Services saw 966 new cases last week alone for a season total of over 1,900. That's up by nearly 1,500 percent compared to this time last flu season. And when it comes to RSV, things are much worse. More than 1,300 new cases were reported last week, adding to the near 4,000 total this season. Parents should be reassured, you know, we have the tools and the expertise and the guidance to be able to take care of their children should they be in our emergency room or sick in our hospital. And with holiday travel underway, experts say to always ask parents permission before cuddling those newborn family members. Phoenix Children's Hospital says to look out for warning signs. Number one, if their child is having difficulty breathing and the things that they should look for are if they're using their chest muscles, they're using their rib muscles, their belly, all of that is moving really fast. That's one one sign of respiratory distress. If their lips or mouth is turning blue, that's an emergency. And then if you have a child that's younger, that's having days of persistent high fevers, that would be a reason to contact your pediatrician as well. And guys, we've been talking about it for the last couple of years, but doctors say the best thing to do is get vaccinated for COVID and the flu. Make sure you wash your hands often. And as always, if you feel sick, stay home. Reporting live tonight in Phoenix, Stephanie Bennett, Fox 10 News.